Hi guys, this is Omer from MOHUT.com. I'm the first impression gameplay video for Fairyland Online, a 2D fantasy turn based MMORPG published by Laggernet. What a name, right? Now I'll spend about 5 10 minutes running around checking the game out and make quick comments. If you guys want to play Fairyland Online or just learn more about it, check it out review on the link below. So let's go ahead and log it over here. Now, the game's login screen over here looks very cartoony, which is pretty interesting. It's a different art style. But let's see what this game really looks like. Snow White is the game's only server right now. And it doesn't, it doesn't look like they'll fill, be filling up this server login screen anytime soon. There's like room for like 20 servers over here. So let's go on Snow White. It's guys, Snow White 1 is 45%, whatever that means. So let's create our character over here. It looks like we have, let's click our races. We got human, elf, and dwarf in the game. Those are the three playable races in the game, and they each have varying stats as you can see over here. So pick the class, the, the race that has the best stats for whatever class you want to play. So we're going to go with Dwarf because they got the most strength and uh, strength is win. We got male and female over here. And it looks like it's weird, the selection thing. Because it looks like it's highlighted when you don't select it. So not highlighted means you selected it. Our looks include 1 and 2. So look at that excellent customization right there, 1 and 2. Uh, I'm going to go with this one over here. I think I'm a male. Alright, yeah, we're male. And we can play with our hair as well, which is nice. And this whole color wheel thing is nice, because a lot of games don't do this, even newer games. I mean, you can tell from the graphics, this is a pretty old game. So let's go with something really wacky for our skin. Let's see what we got. We got presets over here if you want to use those. But we're going to go with green. We're going to be a green dwarf. Uh, it's actually a goblin. A green dwarf is just a goblin. Well, yeah, let's just go into the game right now. I don't want to play with the customization that much. So we got a name and a nickname. So I'm going to go with Remo Remo. I don't know what the difference is, but let's just enter the game now. So it looks like we don't get to pick our class right off the bat. But the one good thing is the game does have a decent selection of classes, which I'll explain once we get into the game. And that's really all I know about the game. All I know is that there's a bunch of classes that you get to pick after level 10. Receptionist G Hello. So we got some awesome uh, text errors over here. Welcome to Mysteria. So the game's world is Mysteria. Fairyland School is a set for the blah blah blah. I already learned this. Which is broken English for... I don't want to take the tutorial. So hopefully that works, yeah. So it looks like I kind of skipped that tutorial area. And whoa, all right, the, the graphics are pretty bad, but to be fair, the game was released, I believe, in 2005. And back then, it used to be a pay-to-play game. So yeah, people paid to play this game right here in 2005, come on. Well, maybe the game was relaunched in 2005, I don't know. But yeah, uh, movement is done entirely with point and click. WSAD just kind of talks. And it kind of sucks that the text box doesn't go over your head. I hate going to the bottom left to read it. And yeah, D-pad does nothing as well. Our little radar is the middle over here, town center, top left. So let's go let's go outside over here. I think this is the way out. Uh-oh, you can't leave the town center before completing the village head's quest. So the game is a little bit linear with that. I gotta complete the first quest in the game before I can leave this area. I don't think these are players, they're all NPCs. Erwin, yep. So how do we talk to this guy besides standing on top of him? Uh, I mean play around with the clicking. Hold on. Oh, I'm just teleporting around sometimes. What, what's going on? What's happening? Right, apparently, if you, if you try left and right click at the same time, you're, the game is totally borks. So yeah, it looks like double right clicking, I think, talks to the, the dude over here. So Mulan, there are dangerous beasts around the village that need to be cleared. Uh, I gotcha, they need to be cleared, you know, I'll take care of them for you. Well, I can't just say, need to be killed. Alright, let's go help him. Alright, good, here's a question before I send you off. If someone gives you and your partner five apples, how will you share them? Uh, I'll take them all. Squash the juice and share. I don't know how this is relevant to my quest. But I'm going to be the nice guy and say we're going to squash them with the juice and share them. Alright, if artist offers to draw a picture of you, I'll go with watercolors. So, I, I don't know what that was, but whatever. Let's just go do the quest now. So, can I go outside here yet? Is that the way? I need to kill some towns around town, but I can't leave this building. Come on. Let's just look around over here. There was nothing on that left side. We got a dude named Philly over here. Let's talk to him. Alright, confirm. So, here we are going downstairs in the basement, I guess. Yeah, the town basement. So if this, if this is the town basement, was that one house at the top, the only building in town? Let's talk to beer over here. How may I serve you? I can think of a few ways, but looks like all you do is fill up my HP. Alright, whoa. So it looks like the game does these random encounters, which is pretty cool. I thought you would bump into an enemy, but that's not the case. Let's go look at the options over here. Attack, dodge. Why would you want to dodge? Just attack the guy. We got magical skills, which we don't have any magic yet. Normal skills, which we don't have any yet. Items which we don't really have anything yet. Pet list, we don't have anything yet. So you know, I'm, I'm not going to scrap and tag this guy. Let's fight. So we right click to attack. 
So it looks like I have no weapons yet. At least I don't think so. So combat is... It's not terribly slow, at least. But I imagine that you would actually bump into enemies before you attack them. Because in games like... Almost every turn-based RPG I've played has been like that. I mean, if you look at Wonderland Online and... Myth War 2 Online, they're all set up like that. I mean, both of those games are by IGG. This game is by Lagernet. <laughs> what a funny name. I think this is the only game they publish, though. So most of the turn-based RPGs I've played, I think even including Atlantica, you bump into the enemies before combat begins. So this is really the only one where you just kind of get this random encounter out of nowhere. Maybe Zodiac Online is like that too, but I forgot. So this is one of the few uh, turn-based MMORPGs out there, but I do have to say the graphics here are not too impressive. And probably, this is probably based on what I've seen so far, the worst looking one in terms of graphics. So it's probably the oldest too. Though the graphics art style is a little bit different. It has no unique art style to it. We've received one coins. Why is coins plural? I received one coin, not one coins. So you can see your experience gained after battle. So I kind of wish I could find another player, which I can't do yet. It doesn't seem that way. My experience meter is at the top middle over there. Let's keep clicking around. We got chest. I can't get over how weird this right click is. All right. I got leather jacket and a crystal ring. All right. So I'm just pillaging the town's uh, treasury in the basement over here. And wow, this, this battle screen is so screwed up. I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to be standing on top of the cave. I mean, this is where I was. I mean, it's kind of cool that you can see the background of where I just was. I mean, I was right next to this chest when I got this battle on my way down. But for some reason, I'm standing at top of the cave wall, which makes no kind of sense. No kind of sense whatsoever. I don't know, I'm battling some mud slime over here too. I mean, I like it there. I like the temp they made, but I totally screwed up. It should at least put me down here somewhere, but oh well. It's no big deal. It's not going to make or break anything. It does seem like combat is a bit easy. I didn't really die anything. I didn't really lose that much HP and I leveled up now. I, 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 yeah, Alright. You received one fish and one coins. Good deal. So we will level up. We got three attribute points, which is available, but they spelled available wrong. It's just an A-I-L. What? No, maybe let me move that. Nope. What just happened? Alright. Yeah, you can't even move this. It's really weird. You can't move a lot of these text boxes and stuff. So, yeah, I think they just spelled available wrong. I don't know. Available attribute points three. And we're going to pump our strength the way it's supposed to be. Up the strength. Alright, that's what we need in life. More strength. So let's go complete this quest. It can't be that much harder. I X'd at my map for some reason. I can't really find it right now. Maybe down here somewhere? Oh, we got emotes. These are the best. I love playing with these. Faint. Whoa. I got randomly kind of right when I did my emotes, so it didn't really work. I do like that the background kind of matches the scenery, even though if it's, even if it screws up uh, every once in a while. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Yeah, for leveling up, I also gain one strength, one luck, one charm. I'm not sure if you pick a different race and you'll start in a different town. Because it looks like I'm in a kind of a dwarf area, this underground area. But who knows. I received bronze ore and one coin. I think I have to close that out. Let's go back to the emote screen. I want to try that real quick. Let me go into clear sight and let's fall. Let's faint. No? Doesn't want to faint? The game does not want to faint. Uh, these sh I don't know why these aren't working. Alright, whatever. I shrug helplessly. Come on, I want some animations. Come on. It doesn't even work. Let's try this. Nope. That sucks. How about this one? Show emoticon. There we go. Here we are. Wounded. Let's try wounded. Make some weird uh, movements. So yeah, you got, you got some weird things to play with if you're bored. Alright, let's close that nonsense out. I like the black sheep over there. Let's open this chest. I got a weapon, I think. Instead, I got a weapon. Let's bring up my inventory. I got a lot of crap. Wow. All right. Equip the sword. Equip the armor. Equip the fish. Oh, that was a ring. Never mind. This one's the fish. But yeah, let's go kill some more stuff now. I mean, the game is supposed to be a pet-themed MMO. You're supposed to, be able to raise pets and use them in battle. Kind of like you do in Zodiac Online and pretty much all the other turn-based RPGs. And I know Myth War 2 has a strong emphasis on the whole pet system as well. Buyer Pisces. Now buying 3,000 copper ore. That's a lot of copper ore. So, the game does have a strong emphasis on the whole pet system. So, you don't start with a pet right away. I'm sure if you follow the tutorial quest, you'll actually get one. Once you reach level 10, you will be able to choose from one of many different classes. I mean, they're broken down into Warrior, Diviner, and then, like, Miscellaneous. Warrior, you can play as uh, Blade Master, Berserker, and Swords Mage. Diviner, you get Mage, Aquilite, and a few other classes. I know the game has Trader and Martial Artist as well for, like, a total of nine different playable classes. Which does add some variety to the game, which is always win. So now we're fighting a red beetle. It's more of a ladybug than a beetle. It kind of like walked backwards and fell over. I don't know why. What it was trying to do. So, Alright, let's keep on trucking. 
We got two people. Oh, the, are these actual players over here? Yeah, we got other players over here. Yo, guys. What's up? And I, I hate that it doesn't show right up over my head. And instead, it shows on the bottom left. It's kind of annoying. I mean, in a game like this, it would seem like it should go over my head, but it doesn't. What are these two doing over here? What is it? There's a dreidel over her head. Another thing worth mentioning is that the game has very uh, low graphic settings, as you can see. And you can't really change the resolution either, so you're kind of stuck on this really low resolution. And then there aren't a lot of players either, which kind of sucks. Let's kill this mudslide. I believe the game is PvP as well, but it's completely cons no, consensual. I mean, the game is clear clearly aimed at a younger audience. And the game is low player base, which kind of sucks. I mean, I'd probably rather play Zodiac Online or any other real turn-based game over this. This is a really old game. I ain't running out of time, guys, though. So if you guys do want to play uh, Fairyland Online or just learn more about it, check it out full review on the link below. Later, guys.